Brian Post, what is a rectangle? A fort sighted, <coughs> sighted figure with two sets of corresponding sides and four corresponding angles. That's a parallelogram. Actually, it's not even that's quite a while. Okay, so if all my angles are congruent and it's a quadrilateral, what does that make each one of the angles? Nine. Okay, so if the lines are, if the angle is 90 degrees, then my two lines must be what word? Perpendicular. Perpendicular. Okay, now that's really important. So guys, if I give you this segment, and I say, hey, we need to build a rectangle based on that segment, what do I have to do? Uh, you have to make another one just like it, and you have to make one longer, two that are longer and shorter. Well, actually, there's a special way you have to make the sides, but they have to be perpendicular. So we're going to construct a perpendicular line for that. So there's my point, there's my line, and now I have my perpendicular segment. And then that, oops, we'll draw a little bit farther. And we'll put a segment on top of that. So now I've got my two sides of my rectangle. I lost my home. Okay, so here's my rectangle. Or at least two sides of it. So now I've got to make another side. Now, the other side should be parallel to this side, right? Okay, so let's construct the parallel side that point going through here and then from this point going through there and then if we drag this out we've now created our rectangle and what this does this actually guarantees me that all four of my angles are perpendicular now this, the other thing here that's really kind of important for us to know is based on the whole basis of today's notes. Let's say I have a rectangle. What is the fastest way to know if something is a rectangle? They should be right angles. But that would take me a long time to try and figure out if all my angles are 90 degrees. Sam? If like your top and bottom are longer or shorter, then. Yeah, but wouldn't that actually just be a parallelogram or any quadrilateral? No. If like if it was longer, that made it a rectangle because it's not, you don't have four corresponding sides. You don't, you don't have four congruent sides. Well, I don't have four congruent sides unless I'm a square or a rhombus. Exactly, that's what I just said. Well, here's the bottom line. Here's what we're going to do. If you guys remember from parallelograms, we measured the length of the diagonals, and we found out that the diagonals were definitely not congruent. But when we have a rectangle, they are congruent. And that's all you need to know. So if you want to know if a quadrilateral is a rectangle, all you need to do is verify that the diagonals are congruent. And that's it. That's how you know if something's a rectangle. Now, you guys remember the quadrilateral hierarchy? We had it broken down, right? You had quadrilaterals, you had parallelograms. Under any parallelograms, you had it split into two subcategories. You guys remember talking about that? Okay, so when we did that, so we noticed that, again, we have the parallelograms here, we have the rectangles here, and we have the rhombi here. So since the rectangles are a subgroup of parallelograms, 
What does that tell you about the properties of rectangles? They have similar properties. Similar properties? They have the same properties. They have the same properties. So whatever properties a parallelogram has, the rectangle automatically inherits those properties. So there's really only two new properties that a rectangle has, and that is that it has four congruent angles, and that the diagonals are congruent. And that's all you need to know.